We live in football company, com country, I should say. Maybe you love football too, bet you do. So when will UNF get a football team? Here is an intriguing thought tonight. Does a computer password for the new president of UNF hold a clue? The University of North Florida opened back in 1972 in Jacksonville. Back then, 2,000 students. Now enrollment is more than 16,000. And the respect for UNF continues to grow. I sat down with the new president of UNF to get him a little bit of knowledge about what we do, to get to know him in the community. He's new here, of course, and also to tackle that football question. And we're going to continue this. That's just really impressive. He speaks French, to Italian, Tunisian, and, and... A little bit of English. A little bit of English. <laughs> <laughs> His humor is subtle. He says his wife is a new professor at UNF, nanotechnology and microbiology. Wow. They brought her, and then they said, OK, maybe your husband can be president. So. <laughs> Dr. Moaz Lamayan, the seventh president of UNF. Everybody always asks the same question. You know what it is. Yes. What about football? You ever uh, going to get a football team? A true story. The true story, he says. When he first got to UNF, the IT folks came in and set up his computer. The temporary what? password was Osprey Football 2026. Do you agree with that date? I, <laughs> no, no, I don't because I simply, I, the answer is I don't know because there is only one thing worse than not having a football program. You know what it is? Having a bad a football program. He says right now he wants to focus on the 19 sports at UNF. He says football will come, but the cost? Huge. And he says it has to come from private, not state funds. Dr. Lamayan was head of fiscal management for the University of South Florida before coming to UNF. He says, look at USF now. According to the Tampa Bay Times, the cost to build a stadium on campus there could hit 200 million. Other reports say 400 million. So, for UNF. A plan without resources is hallucination. Meanwhile, his top goal here. We want to be a magnet for um, students. No more UNF as a last choice sometimes for college. We want to change that. Where we say, you know what? If I don't get that UNF, I'm going to go somewhere else. One area of concern for him is the teacher shortage. He wants more inspiration for education majors. We talk about doctors and nurses. They do a great job. They save lives. We do change lives. His passion for teaching goes back to Tunisia, the northernmost country in Africa. He grew up there. His dad tutored for free in a poor village at night. We um, um, had one oil lamp for the family. No electricity, and so he asked his dad, Why are you taking the oil lamp and leaving us with candles? That's not fair. Uh, so he said, uh, Listen, son, um, it is true. We're I'm taking the oil lamp, but they need it more than we do. They need it so that uh, they can change their lives and the lives of their families and become a great uh, citizen. And that story. You know, one of my, uh, my uh, favorite stories, how that probably shaped me. Drives him to this day. So in addition to football, we'll be following his push to inspire more students to become teachers. Look at these numbers. In fall 2017, 367 students at UNF were studying to become teachers. Just four years later, fall 2021, it was 259 students, 108 fewer. But as you just heard, the new president at UNF is focused on that challenge.